didn't muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. These jobs aren't gonna finish themselves, you know. My boys. Do I look like the leading type? You know what I mean. Tell your boss that rough is rough, but when someone pulls a dagger, fun time is over. I'll pass it along. Well, I never thought I'd see the guild this way ever again. The place is great into what it used to be when Gallus was running the show. Contacts are springing up all over. And I've got young footpads beating down the door to join up. I've got one last special request of you. Finish this one, and all of Skyrim's ours for the taking. I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend down there. Good job. Now, is your part of the deal. There's plenty more work for the lot. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. It's about time you got here. I'm not accustomed to dealing with people who are unreliable. That's why I asked Delvin to send me his best. That's more like it. Nothing raises my ire more than having an agreement broken. It's bad for business, and it wastes time. Captain Volf of the Dainty Slowed has decided to test my patience on this matter by neglecting to honor a trade agreement we had established. I need you to help me show him the error of his ways by sneaking on board the Slowed and planting some contraband. You'll need to get your hands on some Belmora Blue from Sabine Niet down by the docks. She's the first mate on another ship, the Red Wave. Once you get your hands on it, I want you to plant it in Captain Volf's footlocker. I'll take care of the rest. Captain Volf is ashore right now, and I want the authorities waiting for him when he gets back. Now get going. I don't want to see your face until the job's done. Not sure. I know that it starts with moon sugar, but all sorts of other ingredients are added to increase its potency. Used to be a lucrative underworld commodity when Balmora was still standing. Now the stuff is beyond valuable. It's also very illegal. Anyone caught with Balmora Blue looks forward to rotting in jail for a very long time. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. Hello, friend. Well, but it's damn near impossible to find any more. You want to buy it off of me? Good. The Balmora Blue is locked in a chest under the docks near the Red Wave. Hope you like getting away.
Island. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Yes, I know. In fact, by now, Captain Volf should be on his way to the prisons. Our contract is complete. Here's a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Oh, convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. I must protest, Bayard. A parade would make you an easy target for a Stormcloak assassin. Your safe at here is handy. Need some gold, but they have some work for you. Erica assures me that Captain Wolf will spend pretty much the rest of his life clapped in irons. Best of all, he's also pledged to open doors for us in solitude and to get things rolling again. The guild's at full strength, and we have you to thank for it. We've had our share of dark times, and now they seem like a distant memory. I'm gonna tell you something you'll never hear me say again, but if you tell anyone I told you, I'll deny it. When you walk through the guild, don't be ashamed to hold your head high, because you're the best damn thief in the place. Uh... Agreed. Bad time. Brynjolf's been getting onto me about money. We want to waylay a shipment on the way from this business. Keep this up, and you'll be rich enough to retire before you know it. Good luck. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around all day? Hmm? Sure, why not? Okay, what'll it be? You can give this house a once-over. I hear they're fairly good. Here's what you need to do. Pull up a seat. And here's the spoils. Bloody more where this came from. Well, you done? Amazing what people leave laying around for us to take, isn't it? I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. 
No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. That's enough of this unnecessary chatting. We need to keep going. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. That should do it. Tension here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps.
Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. 
quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Honestly, think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth, and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus' history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Without the antidote I administered, You'd be as still as a statue. I treated your wounds and didn't leave you defenseless. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot, and yet I used it on you. All I had hoped was to capture... What was that? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enthe. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. 
The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, we need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. He was a scholar, a master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Mercer lied to the Guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the Guild. I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Why self life? We got London on the track. Yeah. 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 Ye